my aim or my target kwenye fashion industry was kuhakikisha kwamba fashion industry haichukuliwi poa zaidi so whatsoever i did i, I made sure naenda kwenye kila event kama kuna designer naweza kumsupport kwa njia moja au nyingine nafanya lakini kazi zao zionekane by the same time tuangalie kwa wenzetu nje vitu kama fashion na music they go hand in hand lakini kibongo bongo imekuwa tofauti nje unakuta mtu ana shoot a music video kuna stylist kuna designers makeup artist hairstylist wanakuwa involved lakini kibongo bongo no mtu tu anaingia kabaten kwake hapo anavaa wanasahau kuna watu kama kina Noel kuna watu kama kina Martin kuna watu kina nani yani watu wengi ambao wako kwenye fashion industry which can make the video pop up way more add watu wa nje kutu appreciate so i was like this is no i'm gonna do this i'm gonna change this i brought the segment of fly videos ambapo kuna baadhi wa sani of course na baadhi wa watu walikuwa na mind kinoma noma i was like what yani huyu msichana anadhani ni nini of course na watu wengi funny enough of a story nikomba akikutana na mimi wakinaona kwenye tv wananiona kama this big girl and everything afa akikutana na mimi in real life wananiona kama katoto fly so it's like what do you think i remember even once shilole <laughs> aliwahi kuniambia atanipiga makonzi because uh, la- last time kwenye fiesta nilikuwa nipo na yeye kila every now and then i even remember kuna one of the nguo <laughs> ambao niliona kuna mkono wa Martin Kadinda i was like wow, wow! ni Martin Kausika hapa i was like no afu nikampandisha kwenye highlight afu kuja kukutana na mimi was like why are you doing this but at the end of the day i was like lazima fashion industry ifike pale juu if tunataka ifanye vizuri kama watu wengine lazima watu kama sisi kina Lilian Masuka tuwepo pale changamoto gani kubwa kwa ajili ya kuwakosoa watu maarufu ilikutana nayo yani ukiacha ile shirani ambao umetuambia hapo tuambie kidogo Of course uh, kuna muda mpaka sasa hivi nimeshaambiwa nitafute a board guard yani like mtu wa kunilinda wakati natembea kwa sababu it's not like kila mtu ambaye anaelewa kwamba hii ni kazi hii ni kazi kama kazi nyingine yoyote ile anofanya mtu anepanda stage and everything though kiongeza kuna kitu kinaitwa passion so watu wengi wanafikiria we are doing this for personal reasons labda mimi na bifu zangu inside wakati ukija kuangalia I don't know anybody. I'm just doing it for the sake of making sure kwamba vitu vyo proper. Tuna watu kama kina Diamond wanaenda huko nje. Like sometimes unaona kabisa huyu ni msanii mkubwa sana na vitu alivyovaa like these things do not go together so inabidi vibadilike. So the biggest challenge au changamoto ni kubwa ni watu wengi wanachukulia vitu personal. The other thing ni kwamba fashion industry uh, inakuwa lakini inakuwa bado kidogo kidogo sana. So people to understand and bringing it in na kuelewa kwamba tunachofanya ni kujaribu kuhakikisha hii tasnia ya ubunifu na mavazi inaendelea kukua watu wengi bado wajelewa. But that's not stopping us or it's not stopping me kwa sababu lazima uanze. At the end of the day sisi ndo tushaanza changamoto to lazima katika maisha. Maisha bila changamoto is more of like nothing. So like let's say easy ni challenges tu za kufanya tuwe better each and every single day and I'm happy having these challenges. Ukiwa unafanya kitu unaona kabisa vile kinafanikiwa, kina lose na nini na nini. Wewe kwako unaonaje? Tangia umeanza kufanya kipindi chako. Kuna 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 mabadiliko yoyote kwa watu maarufu vile kujipanga na nini na kama hautojali wasanii wawili watatu ambao wale tupia mawe vya kutosha lakini sasa hizi wanasema wow ni nuna lakini mmenisaidia watu ambao wanatukubali mchango wetu sana 100% kiasi na gigi mani gigi mani ni mtu ambaye ilikuwa wiki aishi uh, bila ye kutoka kwenye highlights zetu lakini ni mtu ambaye sasa hivi anasimama kabisa confidently anasema asante kwa Lilian Masuka asante kwa Storm uh, kwa kunisaidia kwa sababu right now naangalia vitu gani nivae nguo gani nivae so that um, nisitokee kwenye Storm highlights tena before ilikuwa it's about Storm lakini siku hizi imekuwa about yeye kama star yeye mwenyewe kama star because I'm a star I'm say I need to look good lakini tuna mtu mwingine ambao mtu kama Diana Uh, Diana Flave Miss Tanzania. Miss Tanzania sisi Storm we are the first person ambao tumemchukua tukampa makeover. Na after our makeover hata naweza kuangalia picha za Diana. Kwanza sisi tulivomfanyia makeover tukamwonyesha jinsi gani uvae, nyole gani za kupendeza, makeup gani ni nzuri kwako. Amekuwa yani yani tuseme tume channel tough sense of fashion. Kwa hiyo hata Diana mwenyewe alishawahi kusema like she's thankful. We can also see kuna mtu kama chemical ambayo na uhakika kabisa umeona kuna mabadiliko kuanzia kwenye video ambayo amefanya na msami hata tulivyo mleta kwenye sisi kwenye interview zetu. Anasema anajaribu Uh, so i think wako watu wako wengi kuna watu kama weusi ambao ni kaka zangu wale wanaparangana nao once in a while lakini they see what we are trying to do kwamba all in all we are trying to make better kwa nini wewe ni msanii uh, kwa nini usi 
onekane vizuri kwa nini usislay na everything so at the end of the day mimi nafikiria it's very easy um we push it forward nitajia watu maarufu ambao wanaongoza kwa kuvaa vibaya okay ah uh, watu maarufu ambao wanavaa vibaya kibongo bongo um let me say how watu sio kama wanavaa vibaya lakini mara nyingi kwamba dressing code zao mimi zinakuwa hazini impress yani ziko ziko pale Uh, first of all nikianza na Shilole um why Shilole I think she's so pretty she's so beautiful lakini ngo zake yani ziko mm, ziko ziko yani azieleweke yani siwezi kusema zieleweke per se but ziko ziko yani she doesn't impress me so much i'm trying to imagine mimi i'm just skinny i'm petite lakini ningekuwa na ile body ya Shilole bwana Yesu ngeko mnanikamatia wapi i don't know yani yuko yuko um tu pili na juu ni kaka yangu na mtu mtu wangu karibu sana na atani mind kinoma baadaye interview kwenda on air ni niki niki wa pili na gombanaga naye sana mara nyingi i'm like telling him unakana mtu kama jina yako unakana na mtu kama jo makini these guys yeah. always look so nice and fly why do you choose kwamba hata mkivalishwa na designer ngo yako wewe ndio inakuwa mbaya i always fight with him so much i think niki has an, an opportunity ya kubadilisha mavazi yake so much kwa sababu kwanza mwili wake olivyo Unyo si so watu wenye mili midogo midogo we always look so okay, nice yeah. yes we fit in anything you look good with everything kwa hiyo ina maana wewe ukijachia kuonekana vibaya that's your choice yes mtu mwingine snura snura i have an issue na nguo za snura honestly frankly speaking si mwelagi snura kabisa on how he dresses up yani na muona ona tu na muona muona yuko pale another person ambaye ah Chemical this is my huge fight na eto kwa muda mrefu sana lakini i hope for the best kwamba atafanyaje labda atabadilika yes i'm hoping for the best kuna mtu mwingine ambaye anaitwa ni uh, ni mtu maarufu na ni stylist anaitwa Cubo Msafi this nigga honestly from my heart hapana his dressing code is worst namba moja katika tonova vibaya and the worst part is anaenda kuwa like a, he's like a virus kwa hiyo anawaingizia adi wengine anawaambukiza wengine akiwa style and everything though sometimes he tries i know um fashion is about daring lakini his sense or level of daring to match to rihana nice kwa upande wangu nani anaongoza kwa kuvaa vizuri ah kwa sani wote kwa Uh, okay naomba naomba nisisemi mtu mmoja lakini let me say like how ni watu ambao mimi wanani impress uh, katika likija swala zima la kuvaa I have jinako I really love sense style ya jinako iko proper to mimi kwangu it's mia yani iko fresh sana also i have real real po uh, let me not say real po let me say the stylist studio ambayo inamilikiwa na real na noeli i love the sense of style kama ni casual ni casual kama ni funky ni funky kama ni professional ni professional kama ni business uh, yani business casual yani wako wako vizuri but also i have uh, vanessa shout out to my girl v money uh, vanessa yuko vizuri sana katika swala zima la kuvaa though sometimes mimi na yeye pia tunakuaga tuna kwa roho zetu za hapa na pale it's the same with the situation ni kwamba mimi watu wasipo nikubali yeah. lakini kuna stylist ambaye anachipukia yuko vizuri sana nafikiria namnaweza mkamtafuta mkamwangalia kwa jicho la tatu this girl anaitwa Johari her sense of style is proper yani yuko vizuri hata wakati tunafanya review ya miaka kumi ya Alile Mtola she stood out though pia kuna vitu vyake alikosea lakini she stood out yes then kuna mtu mwingine napenda uh, sense of style ya uh, Mimi Mars mdogo um, wake Vanessa i think she's trying she's pushing yes she's pushing uh, niko si amezema my list lakini kuna mtu anaitwa Elizabeth uh, Michael uh, na Jokate Mugelo shout out to them lakini wema sepetu wema sepetu she's not a fashionista she's not a stylish person wema sepetu ni mtu ambaye anakuaga ana time to time ana time time zake za kuwa ana anazo kuaga anafanya vizuri lakini katika fashionistas za Tanzania honestly from my day ukiniuliza mimi i will say no this is the same thing even i asked lulu kwenye my interviews before i told her i don't think you're a daily slayer wewe ni mtu ambaye unapendeza mpaka vitokee okay, vitu fulani lakini hatuna ile fact kwamba sisi tunakuona ukipendeza katika ile maisha ya kila siku It's different labda na mtu ambaye kama mimi ambaye natokea kwenye tv every week every day every day every week lazima i must look good lakini lilu mpaka tunsubiri certain points no mm-hmm. but napata shida sana kukuita slayer au fashionista lakini that's my own opinion kwa sababu we don't see you on a daily basis watu wengi a list nafikiria a list yako yote sijuta mtaje mwingine nani lakini mtu kama wema no yani i'm saying mm-hmm. no 
Lulu she's trying out there kwa sababu kuna events nyingi. If we should put her on that best category best category ya kuvaa vizuri, she should show us on her daily um daily. Sawa so, na Jokate. Mm -hmm. Jokate ni mtu ambaye ana post so much. Tunamuona akienda wapi, sijui kaenda kwenye vikao, sijui yuko wapi, but she slays. Yaani unamuona. Even hata kusema she's wearing no makeup, ha amesuka nyuma, but unakuta lazima kiatu au nguo au handbag imembeba. I think that's kwa mimi hiyo ndo uh, meaning ya fashionista. Mtu kama Lavidos, yuko kama unamjua Lavidos. Lavidos La ni um, she's a fashionista, some sort of a blogger. She's doing a perfect job. You can see that. Kuna watu ambao they try to push lakini mimi siwaelewagi mtu kama Ifran Ifran uh, Ifran na uh, anaitwa Ifran now I don't remember the second name lakini ni stylist that's the person who is trying out but I don't understand his style but I know he's giving it out there watu kama hao so mimi ukiniuliza nafikiria a lot of our A-list class hapa they're not fashionistas they're not watu ambao wanatupia sana ila kwa sababu tu sisi tuna mad love for them kwa we think like Yeah. Okay, diamond, I don't think okay, um diamond I don't think ni mtu ambaye ana slay so much kwa sababu tushamzoea. Kama akiwa java suit ya specials, atakuwa amevaa rangi zake nyeupe nyekundu njano. Zile rangi za wasafi, you already know. That's nothing. That's not fashion. Yo so fashion. Wewe ukasema that's fashion. It needs to give us extra ukiniuliza mimi so mimi nafikiria diamond ka kova yake ni kawaida kabisa yani simput hata katika best dress guys alikiba sometimes he tries lakini with alikiba the other problem inakuja pia alikiba sio mtu ambaye anajitotoa kwenye mitandao ya kijamii sana kwa hiyo anakuwa kama kuna baadhi ya vitu anatuficha sisi kufanikiwa kufanyaje kuviona i think ni mara chache sana ambapo unaweza kusema diamond amewahi kuongelewa ukiondoa ule mchicha wake au nanasi yake aliyotengeneza ile labda that was the time people talked so much about him lakini recently umemwona alikiba yuko na kile kipenzi chake kile calls commotion lakini we've seen alikiba before aliwahi kuvaa this jumpsuit ambayo alivalishwa na Noeli people said he copied it's okay to copy wako wanafananisha na Pharrell Williams it's okay to copy i think mimi if you ask me i'll go to sense style ya alikiba more than diamond cuz i think alikiba is daring kuna watu kama kina need music atuangalie sana lakini they, they have a really proper sense of style kuna mtu kama omidimpos i don't think He dressed up so much lakini like, so kwamba mimi anani impress sana na his sense of style but nikija katika watu nakukubali wenye mavazi hapa kibongo bongo kama juzi kati amevaa suti fulani vya kitenge mimi i was like day this is what we call extra and this is what Omidimpo sizani kama anakosea somewhere ila najari, nafikiria ana, anatakiwa a push extra kuondoka kwenye basics kwa sababu pia kwa sababu tukirudi hata kwenye normal sense so kwamba mtu anaitwa nyimbo sana nini lakini kuvaa na vaa uliona room yake ile si mchezo viatu nguo and everything so i think kuna vitu vya extra he needs to add up to make him like so sijapo sikio awesome. kuzungumzia watangazaji wa, wa hata mmoja oh watangazaji watangazaji wangu ambao nawakubali kinoma noma likija sio lazima la kuvaa i say hata kwa watangazaji tuna challenge kinoma ila um dozen is smart ila sio kwamba he's a fashionista be dozen from clouds xxl um he's smart Uh, I like that the fact kwamba he's smart and everything but he doesn't go extra mile and to save his ass right. Kwa sababu ukiangalia kwa wenzetu mfano kama um, South Africa au Nigeria kuna watu kama kina Somiz, kuna watu kama kina Deno Lage, kuna the other guy yule anavaga zile very big boots I forgot. These are the uh, presenters wako out there and was like proper proper yani proper katika sense of style. Come to who else hapo naangalia yani hapo nimeanza kuangalia kwetu kuna mtu kama anaitwa kama yule uh, li, nani uh, DJ yo, Omi Crazy that guy mimi of course i felt like he's really uh, Omi Crazy baada ya ile kujiunguza au uh, my co-host Ayuba anasemaga unakuwa kama kokwa la embe i felt like this guy of course maybe he was trying to make a name out of himself na ile kokwa la embe nikimaanisha alivyoenda kujibleach huko kichwani Watanz, uh, watangazaji both radio and tv kwa Tanzania ah tuna struggle tuna struggle kinoma yani eh wakike ukiniondoa mimi sioni mwingine ambaye anaweza akanika compete so, just a little bit a shade where is sometimes ananibariki oh. sometimes oh. not all the time yes swali so, moja la mwisho Yeah. Na mshauli nini Shilole kiacha anakufuta ana ongea okay, na mind unapochana lakini pia unataka siku moja au mtaka Of course yeah yeah unamshauri nini Kwanza kabisa let me make this clear mimi ni Shilole ya now BFFs we are best friends for life yes
tumekuja tumefikia kwenye table uh, tumeelewana mm-hmm. uh, of course so mimi nachofikiria uh, shilole needs to get proper stylists and designers in her life why am i saying this ukiangalia the whole time ya mwaka jana especially kama mfano kama kwenye fiesta shilole alikuwa anavalishwa na kiki fashion ambayo ni moja designers wakubwa sana hapa Tanzania and i told you before kama kulikuwa kuna mkono wa Martin pale lakini what did you get nothing. So mm-hmm. mimi nafikiria pia nafasi hawa tu ma designers na ma stylists wakubwa waloka sana kwenye market labda tuwaondoe. Mimi I believe kwamba kuna vipaji ni noma. Kama uliona mimi kwenye miaka kumi ya lile mtula kama mtu anavyoona my dress. Mimi nilishonoa tu na mtoto ambaye amemeza form 6. He's not even 20 years old but his work was proper. Nafikiria kina Shilole au watu maarufu wengine ambao wako katika those position inabidi waanze kuwapatia nafasi hawa watoto wadogo wanaokuwa kwa sababu I believe kuna vipaji vikubwa. Tukiongelea swala zima la fashion hapa Tanzania na East Africa lazima umtaje Lilian Masoka. And guess what right now you're watching Spin TV. Keep on watching cause it's the most rockest TV online station across the world.